So in this exercise we're going to look at some simple integration exercises. So the first two exercises are, are as follows. The integral of sine 4x dx and the integral of sine 4x plus cos 3x dx. Now in this particular, in the first one, we can just simply use the factor rule, which is to say that, or so the sum rule, the sum rule, which is to say we can uh, use the result from the first part, part one, and just add it in. Now, this is important part. I just sort of uh, need to remark that you should know these two off by heart. Now, in quite a lot of books you'll be given the integral of sine x and the integral of cos x. But the integral of sine ax, where a is some constant, that's a different story. So it's actually just a little bit more complicated. When you have an integral, or when you're integrating sine of ax, where a is some constant like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the uh, result, the, integra the, the answer is cos ax over a. Okay, so you're dividing by a. That's important to remember that part. Likewise, cos ax dx equals sine ax over a. Uh, the books will tell you, or the, the, the uh, log tables that you get in the exams will tell you the sine, but they're not as clear about those uh, dividing by a, so just watch out for that. You are expected to know it, but it's not given in the exams. Also, don't forget the, the undetermined coefficients that there. <coughs> So in this case, sine of 4x dx, this is a straightforward enough one, so the answer to that one is minus cos 4x over 4 plus c. Okay? Or you can write it as minus a quarter cos 4x plus c. That's the answer to the first one there. Okay. Now, the second one is that we have cos 3x there, so we can use our answer to the first one there, minus a quarter cos 4x. Uh, we can, we don't have to bring down the plus c, you can always leave that to the end. Cos of 3x, that is plus sine of 3x over 3, and then the undetermined coefficient c. So that's the answer to the second one. Uh, it follows on from the first one there, there we have it there. Minus one quarter cos 4x plus sine 3x over 3. Essentially what we've done there is integrated this part and then integrated this part and ju then just an uh, add the two answers together and at the end add in the coefficient, uh, the undetermined coefficient. So I'm just going to pause it there and come up with some more. Hang on a second. So this is the expression here. 1 plus the square root of x all to be squared. Now uh, later on we'll come across the substitution principle but if you have a, something a small power and the expression here isn't particularly complicated just work it out. So that is equal to, if you're working that out you would get 1 plus 2 root x plus root of x squared is just x dx. Okay. Uh, the integral of that is very simple enough, x plus, oh actually sorry, one remark, uh, 2 the square root of x, 2 times the square root of x, that is 2 times x to the power of a half. The square root of x is x to the power of a half. Okay, so let's actually replace that in there. 2 times x to the power of a half. So a half plus 1 is 3 over 2, so it's 2 times x times 3 over 2 all over 3 over 2, okay? So that's not exactly easy. Um, x is x to the power of 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so it's x to the power of 2 over 2. Uh, I'm going to simplify it now in a second, but we just have to or add in the coefficient of determination there. Essentially what the matter is, how do we simplify this? Well we can multiply above and below the line by the same thing. I'm just going to rearrange the expression here quickly. I'm going to put 2 in here. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply above and below by 2. So 2 times that, 2 times that. 2 times 3 over 2, that just gives you 3. 
and 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so the answer can be written as the full thing now, uh, including that last part, is x plus 4 over 3 times x to the power of 3 over 2 plus x over two, x squared over 2 plus c. So that's the answer to the second one. Uh, uh, the third one even. Okay, uh, let's do another one. So this is their fourth example. Um, 3 over x squared dx. Okay, we can take the 3 out and we can have 1 over x squared dx. Now, 1 over x squared can be really written as x to the power of minus 2. Okay, so our integral can be rewritten as 3 by x to the power of minus 2 dx. Uh, so using the, uh, uh, the, the usual rule for powers of x, uh, minus 2 plus 1, that's minus 1. So that's 3 minus 1, which is, just to be clear, that's minus, one, minus 2 plus 1. Sorry. Minus 2 plus 1, all over minus 1 plus c. Uh, minus 1, uh, 3 divided by minus 1, that could be, we could take out the minus 1 there uh, by just multiplying above and below by uh, minus 1. And minus 1 over uh, x to the power of minus 1 is, can just be rewritten as 1 over x. So we get minus 3 over x plus c. So that's the answer to the um, fourth one. One more. So this one here is, uh, let's go for a simple enough one again. Uh, I have a book here in front of me that I'm reading from. So 2x minus 1 squared dx. And again, we have a relatively simple uh, um, expression in x and we just have to square it. So let's work that out. We get integral of 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 dx. So the answer is, for the first one here, is x squared. So it's 4 times x cubed, with 2 plus 1 is 3, over 3, minus 4x squared over 2, plus x plus c. 4 divided by 2, we can just divide that down and have it as minus 2x squared. Yeah, so that's five simple uh, uh, integration exercises, and uh, that's enough, so we'll leave it there.